Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Pinstar Plays Super Auto Pets. So our second look at the game today is going to be a run through on the uh, the paid version. So the paid version is just this new pets here. It's five bucks and it, we will be facing other people using the same pack. Just different animals, different mechanics. I mean the game's base mechanics are the same. It's just a different set of animals, a different sort of like meta in that arena. So let's dive in, shall we? All right, one of the units that's unique here is the Bluebird. At the end of the turn, give the leftmost friend a permanent plus one attack. I do like the bluebird, and especially when we get it early, so we're going to buy one of those. I'm going to do the same thing I did before, freeze the honey, probably for, for round two here. Let's roll once. Not really liking the crickets. Yeah, okay, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to, we started off strong, so I do like the pig. I am going to let the pig absorb our first round of bluebird buffing, and then, yeah, we'll put an ant over here to further buff the pig. We have that frozen. All right, let's go, and we are going to be, we're going to be the creamy craters. There we go. Take of that name what you will. The frigid kilts, they got themselves a couple of buffs for their fish back here. They got the same idea. And, yep, that's a tie. I just realized we did not draw once at the uh, in our last game, which is really uncommon. Draws are fairly common and nothing to be ashamed of. So no wins, no losses, but that's fine. Ooh, now another good one here is the beetle. I do like me a beetle. Let's buy a beetle. What the beetle does is gives the animals in the shop a an extra permanent plus one toughness. Kind of like the duck, but you don't have to sell it. The only what it does is you have to eat you have to feed the beetle food. But if we give the beetle some honey, that counts as food. Now, since we have one reroll to our name, and I want the most things to get hit with this, but we also want this bird to get hit, I'm gonna freeze the bird. We're gonna roll, keep the honey frozen. Aha, perfect. So now we we give the beetle some honey that buffs both of them. We can then, well, let's see. If we buy the pig, that gives its toughness bonus on here. Plus it gets another plus one, plus one on top of it. So that should go up to like a four. It should be up to a four, four actually, which isn't bad. Or we can make this a four, three with two bluebirds. So we're going to be a three, three. You know what? I'm going to save that. I'm going to, we're going to merge in the, Actually, no, we, we, we don't want to merge anything in. And since we don't want to merge anything in, uh, I, I am going to actually take the bluebird. Because they're more, they, they each get to trigger their effect. I will freeze this pig, just in case. All right, let's do it. You, you merged your ants together too early, my friend. That's a level two. That's why he's, I mean, it's a six five, but we are going to kill you. Now, you do spawn a 1-1, one, one, but uh, our beetle will make short work of that. So our first win. All right, tier two. I'm glad I saved that pig. Dang. Okay, well, I don't really want to go too heavy on the beetle here. So I'm going to merge in our pigs. See what unit we get here. Ooh, an early turtle. I do like an early turtle. We are going to merge our birds. Merge a bird, merge to birds. And then we're going to put the ant here. We're going to put the turtle here. So the turtle's going to buff up the pig. Ant's going to buff up the beetle. Yeah, like I said, I don't really see the beetle as a long-term play. I don't want to pill the ant, but I want to save the pill so they have the uh, option to pill the ant next turn. We could also pill the turtle to give its melon armor permanently to somebody, but that's, we still need the unit in the early game, and I like, I like the turtle just as a un main unit here. Yeah, could have had a level two beetle, but eh, I'm not really feeling a level two beetle. Beetles are really early game play unless you really go crazy for it. Yeah, I'm not going to freeze anything else in the shop here. We're Let's just go for it. Eventually, I'm going to want to find a unit that I want to keep in the team permanently so they can start absorbing their st the stocks there. Boy, they're going heavy ant there. All right, good. That melon armor let my uh, pig live uh, for a turn. You're going you're gonna to kill each other, but then because of the bee, we win. That's why you want to put a B on your last unit. 
It, let, it gives you a placeholder. Ooh, a bat. Bats are really good. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to sell the beetle because we don't want the beetle now. We are going to pill the ant so it buffs something else. There we go. We will take a bat. And I'm fine with the bat getting extra buffs here. Let's roll. I'm good with another bat. Are we going to go down the route of the plus three pig? Eventually we were going to sell our pig because that's kind of its special abilities that it just, it's worth more when you sell it. So yeah, you know what? Let's, let's get another bat here. Eventually we will merge the bats. And in the interest of just maximizing our returns, yeah, let's get another pig. Why not? We don't want to pill anything else here. So yeah, I'm happy with our with our setup here. Let's do it. And heck, maybe we'll get a few more pigs and get a level three pig online. It's a little excessive, admittedly. All right. So what that ha what the uh, bats do is they apply weakness to these things, which makes them take five extra damage or three extra if they've applied the uh, patch to it. And also overwrites whatever other standing buffs they might have had, categorical buffs that is. So very useful for debuffing the enemy team. That's a good melon armor there. We can take you out. See how it took 11 there. And then, yeah, we're just going to take that cat out and we're good. Got a bat surviving. All right. Tier three animals are a go. Hatching chick. Plus five, plus five. This is an interesting one because when you get it to level two, it starts giving out permanent buffs of plus two, plus two. And then when you get to level three, it starts handing out permanent experience buffs. Very useful, but still kind of iffy. So not really, not really feeling it on this team. So let's roll. Another pig. We might as well go for the level three, just for the memes anyway. A dromedary, uh, different from the camel and the other one, this gives shop uh, animals, but it's only your initial set of shop animals. I don't really like it that much. Yeah, we'll buff in and merge in the pig. We can, I mean, I guess we can take it for a round. We'll merge in the bats. We could also get the sheep to summon two, two, two rams. That might actually be a, a, a smarter move here. But again, that's only temporary. And there's also the food buffs to consider. Not really feeling the salad bowl. That's kind of weak unless you have a rabbit. Garlic armor is always good, but I don't want to put it on the pig because the pig's going to get a melon armor. You can only have one status effect going at the time. We could put it on the bat. It's not too beefy right now, but we could find other things to beef up the bat. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, let's go for the... Do we want the sheep or do we want that? The sheep is ultimately more stats worth of things that come out. And I suppose we will garlic armor up our bat because we want it to stick around. All right, mosquito. That thing can do two damage to a random. All right, doesn't kill anyone. Good. Weakens, oh, weakens the blowfish. That's huge. That's really huge that we weakened the blowfish because that was their star unit. And we don't even have to worry about our sheep getting popped. Okay, good level up fodder. So let's always uh, level up your, your units so that you can see what appears in your shop. A llama. Do not like a llama. Because you have to you have to run an empty space in your team. I do not like a llama. Sam I am. Uh, I do like a turtle. We want that to level two. Eventually we're going to need to rip out this pig. But right now the sheep is a lower quality thing. Another bluebird, another sheep. Fish is... Fish is a consideration. Definitely over the sheep anyway. Yeah. I do want to keep the pig around at least till we can get it to level three so we can proc a higher level bonus unit and it'll be worth three gold when we sell it. So yeah, we're going to get rid of you. We're going to take a fish. I still want to buff up that. So yeah, I'm still good there. That way our bat unit keeps growing in health. I will freeze a bluebird or do I want to? I don't really want to make the push for level three for bluebird. I might freeze a meat bone here. Let's go for a roll. There's our pig. We will freeze the pig by the pig and then we will have our our maximum unit pig. Uh, and then we can sell it and uh, and find something more powerful in its place. I probably should have swapped in the turtle to get that health buff. Mm. Interesting. 
That's actually fine. Oh, and yeah, you, you replace the weakness there. But yeah, that's going to replace the weakness with well, melon armor. Ooh, draw. I thought I was going to win that one, but no, that's a draw. But that's okay. Draws are fine. We still have all four of our, our losses available to us here. And since we just rolled over, we can... Ooh, now Buffalo... Buffalo is a good one. Here's an interesting... Well, here. Let's let's see what we get for our tier five. The goat. Oh, these two work together very nicely. It wants you to you want you to start basically starts. Actually, so does the shrimp. <laughs> the shrimp actually works out pretty nicely, too. But it's shrimp's a little bit weak for the moment. So we're going to ditch the tropical fish. We're going to buy the goat. We want to sell the pig. It's going to give us a lot of money. Buy the buffalo. That gives us an extra money gold back for uh, for buying that. Do we want to swap out anybody else? I mean, the bluebird, since we're kind of committed to a, a hot swap strategy here, we could do that. Could get rid of the bluebird and and mix in something else. Let's let's do a roll. Another bat. All right, we're keeping the bat. That is for certain. Let's see what spawns. A microbe. Actually, a microbe is good. It makes everybody weak. But since we have this turtle here, our turtle will, when it dies, overwrite the weakness. So actually, a microbe's pretty darn good. I'm going to freeze this snail. I'm going to sell this bluebird. I'm actually going to hold on to the microbe for a second. I want to do a quick re-roll just to see what else I can get. So actually, let's not freeze the snail. And actually, a meat bone on the... Let's unfreeze you for the moment, just because I want to get the most out of these rolls. A poodle. A poodle. This gives buffs to everything of different tiers. Had I not sold that bluebird, the poodle would have fit in nicely in place of the buffalo, because it would have buffed literally the entire team. Caterpillar slowly grows into a butterfly. It's a little late for a caterpillar build, honestly speaking. I think what we do is we go for canned food, which gives all shop animals current and future plus two plus two. And especially since we're doing a uh, hot swap thing here, makes a lot of sense. Let's roll one more time, see if we get anything really good. I don't want to go back to a bluebird, so we're going to take our microbe. <laughs> and then might as well roll. There's another bat. I'll take the bat. And actually, I'm going to freeze the can because, again, we're doing hot swap, so we need shop animals to be beefy. I may or may not keep this microbe around. We'll see how it performs. But yeah, we need to get our turtle up to level thing because at level two, he puts the melon armor on the last two friends behind it. And that really softens the blow from the microbe. But we'll see how that does, because this can really mess with our opponent. Actually, that's kind of anti-synergistic with the bat because the bat's going to be throwing stuff out anyway. Yeah, that was kind of anti-synergistic there. Yeah, they both get the melon armor, smack each other. Take you out. This is probably going to be a draw. All right, yeah, anti-synergy with the microbe. I don't know what I was thinking. We're going to get rid of the microbe. Hmm, worm is good, but not great for a hot swap. Let's can food. I will, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, I'm not really feeling the worm. No, not feeling either any of those either. Bison. If there's at least one level three friend, it buffs itself, which is pretty nice. It's also got some good base stats. I'm going to hold you for a second. I'm going to sell this microbe. I'm gonna, I get one more reroll out of this because we got we to gotta put something up there. And a bison's pretty beefy just to begin with. Could throw down a fish for a turn. That wouldn't be a bad thing. Put this goat up front. Put this fish up here. We get another reroll out of the deal. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be fishing for the bison, but again, the, the bison's pretty... Well, everything's going to be kind of beefy. Skunk's actually a pretty good hot swap. I'm going to freeze the skunk. Yeah, everything else we can, we can let roll. Let's do it. All right, their whole team is covered in buffs until now. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. 
Unfortunately, we're going to waste the melon armor on a 2-2. But that's okay. We can still just plow through most of their team here. Yeah, I don't know why they put bees on everybody. Because unless you have something that synergizes with the new units spawning in... Okay, we definitely want another one of you. Doesn't buff when he buy a, a copy for himself. Let's unfreeze you, because we have we have tier fives now. We can get another goat, which is fine. And you don't trigger on your own self. The eagle's an interesting one. Summon a level a tier a, a level one tier six animal. Uh, but I don't know if that comes with shop buffs on it. I don't think it does. So not actually that great. I'm gonna freeze the scorpion as a as a just a a, a fill in if uh, depending on what we roll or don't roll. There's another bat, and another can. I do like the cans. Hmm. And I do like this bat though. I'll freeze the bat. I'm doing playing the can does nothing here. The question is, do we want to swap out the tropical fish? I kind of do, just for the extra um, spawn and plus one, plus one. Put you at the front as a suicide lead, even if we only keep you around for one. Plus we get extra rerolls. We don't need another copy of you, and that's another that's another can here. I kind of also need chocolate bars, because everyone's like just on the cusp here. So actually, maybe I don't want to save my cans. Let's reroll again, see if we can get chocolate bars. No, but we got a can, but that might not stick around. In the off chance that we lose, I'm gonna freeze a snail, cause that's good for a hot swap, cause that buffs everybody, but only on a turn after you've lost. All right, so he's got a caterpillar growing up. Yeah, there you go. Get rid of, yeah, two of you there. Melon armor on you, takes away the weakness, unfortunately. There we go. That's good use of melon armor there. And now we lose. Well, I'm glad I froze the snail. Our first loss of the game, but it's hard to go. I've never gone 10 and 0. All right, we get rid of you, Mr. Scorpion, by the snail. And yeah, this gives everybody uh, plus two, plus one, which is just nice buff across the board. We'll buy a bat. Get extra pluses. We get an extra reroll. Ooh, and we get a buffalo. Yes, sir. Gorilla. I'll freeze the gorilla. Gets coconut shield. Because of all the cans we've bought, he starts out pretty beefy. This is... Lobsters are also good for a hot swap uh, deal. Yeah, and yes, we are going to keep the snail in here. We might as well get another, grab another reroll out of all this. There's another snail. Uh, in case we lose again, I mean, we'll we'll do a safety freeze on this on the uh, secondary snail here. I've never actually leveled a snail up to level uh, two or even level three, but yeah, yeah, that works. That works. Ooh, these are some pretty beefy stats. All right, well, at least we took that out, but then yeah, that's gonna hurt. Melon armor only saves ten damage there. Yeah. Not going to be able to take out that bird. Well, I'm glad I froze the snail. Ooh, we can actually level it up. That's actually kind of funny. All right, well, and because we lost, the third snail will also buff us. And we, yeah, I've never had a level two snail before. But yeah, plus four, plus two to everybody. Yeah, lost strats. <laughs> Um, we get a bat. Yeah, I think we sell this snail mammoth whenever he faints. Tyrannosaurus, if you have three or more gold. Actually, do you? No triggers left on the goat. So, if we sell this snail, that gives us two gold. Because you get two gold base for selling a level two. We buy the T-Rex. T-Rex, uh, and then that puts us down, that brings us up to six gold. We buy the T-Rex for three. That brings us down to three gold. We leave three gold on the table. And then that gives everybody a plus two, plus two. And now we have a bigger fighting chance. I like it. I like it a lot. We're going to unfreeze this gorilla. He's no longer relevant. T-Rex. Not sure who I'm going to hot swap out for. He might still be our hot swap thing, but he's still going to give everybody big buffs. And I like big buffs, and I cannot lie. All right, the Creamy Craters versus the Extra Presidents. Whose team is more extra than the others? Oh yeah, we debuffed three people now that we are level three here. 
That's a waste of the melon armor. Now you get the melon armor. And this is gonna be a draw. That's okay! I'll take it. Ooh, there's our chocolate bar. And we can get two more T-Rexes! Damn! Yeah, I think we're going to take two more T-Rexes. We're going to freeze this chocolate here whenever you buy food. So who who's going to get hot swapped? Who's 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 our sacrificial lamb here? Because I do want to keep hot swapping. Goat! I mean, the goat's fine. The bat is absolutely fine. But maybe we need to transition from a hot swap build into just a, a buy build. So maybe, maybe we do sell the goat uh, and bring in the sauropod here. Now, if we buy the chocolate to level up the turtle, we won't trigger the Tyrannosaurus. And that's, even even with the with the one gold backing of the uh, sauropod, we still want to make sure that the T-Rex triggers. So we're going to roll once. Ooh, and a cow. That can be good in one way or another. I'll figure that out, but I'm freezing it for now. Let's end our turn with the excess gold, and then everybody gets buff. I got it before he transformed. All right, good. Well, we're going to draw here because of that freakingly huge butterfly at the end. Okay, uh, natural turtle gives us the level up there. Actually, the sauropod is, is certainly the, the swap fodder here, but well, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't want to ditch the T-Rex. A level two T-Rex giving everybody plus four plus four is actually pretty good. Don't want to drop the turtle because the turtle's now, actually we do need to swap where the turtle goes. Yeah. I do want some food buffs flowing around here. Do I want to plus one experience? We could put it, give you to the turtle. Yeah, there's nothing else I would, I would ever want to ditch besides that. And I'm not really quite feeling the cow. Let's just roll for it. We could give someone just straight up melon armor. I'll freeze that. Also freeze the snail. Because we, they've been good to us. One more roll. Not, not seeing anything good here. Let's go for it. See, we've almost capped out our um, ox here. Because the, the cap is 50-50. Oh, hit those three. Hit those three. Oh my god, we hit all three with the melon armor. That is wonderful. That is some wonderful BS right there. BS in my favor. He's trying to grow two butterflies. This team would be an absolute terror one turn later. But we'll take the victory on that one. All right, uh, unfreeze the snail. We do not need that. And yeah, we'll melon armor up the turtle. That gives us some money buff there. We could buy more shop uh, shop buffs here. Yeah, let's let's go for a can. Gives us the gives us a little rebate here. Let's roll. Freeze the chocolate. Actually, no, I can I can give the chocolate because he's going to give us a one coin rebate, which will keep us at above three. Give it to the turtle and then leave it at that. Yeah. That works. Everybody gets buffed, and now, yeah, our, he's a 50-50. So at this point, we can maybe think about swapping out our T-Rex? Maybe? And that's going to poison everybody else, but our turtle is going to... Um, he's going to uh, overwrite that with melon armor of its own. And we win. Excellent! Victory! All right, chicken would have been useful for hot swap strategies earlier, but too late uh, for the chicken. Too late for the caterpillar. It can do some disgusting things, but you got to get it early. That's kind of the, the 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 case in point for a lot of these things. Is you you want them early in order for them to to do their thing properly. Let's roll. Looking for uh, either a turtle or some chocolate to level it up to level three. Let's roll again. Steak. A steak in the front. I do like a steak in the front. Let's give you some steak. It, it, it makes thematic sense. Yeah, we'll buy more canned food. Roll. Nothing I, I feel like saving here. So 
Yeah, we'll just keep at it. Even though our, I'm sorry, not our ox, our buffalo is not going to get the buff. Er, oh, er, so many others in the team will. So it's still worth it for the moment. Ooh, please hit that thing. That, that, that beetle's been around from... Yes! Oh, we didn't kill it. Oh, but we survived. Man, these are some high digits here. Just as we go through all... Oh, he took out my, my uh, melon armor. Just as we go through all of these, um, you know, and, and we get on later and later turns, we're facing teams who have gone through a similar number of turns. So it makes sense that as our team gets bigger and more obscenely powerful, the teams that we go up against will also be bigger and more obscenely powerful. All right, there's our turtle. Bam! Dragon! Also good for, for cycling strats but only for tier one. Yeah, I'm not really feeling, not really feeling the dragon. Pizza could accidentally hit the buffalo, so I'm not feeling that. T-Rex, you know what, I'm gonna roll. As much as I hate to not save chocolate, because chocolate is just so freaking useful, but we've actually kind of hit the level ups that we need. I mean, a sauropod maybe. Ooh, you're pretty good. Give an animal an extra life. Comes back as a 1-1 one, one after fainting. We gave that to the turtle. Well, it would give everyone an extra layer of that, which would only really help if there's been splash damage. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense. And then any other buffs that are naturally on here are going to get overwritten by the turtle. Um, so it doesn't make too much sense. In fact, yeah, it's wiping out the spats garlic armor. That's fine. It served its purpose. Yeah, that's fine. Let's just keep rolling. We could get another buffalo, but its it stats can't go higher. And leveling it up will just make it gain stats faster, but it can't because it's capped. So this makes zero sense. So I'm not going to do that. Not feeling that. And I will. I do want to keep the uh, buff flowing for here, at least until somebody else caps out. Then we might want to cycle away the T-Rex. But this is the kind of problem you want to have. Ah, dang. At least the rhino didn't get to do its thing. Bink. And a bink. And now it's down to whose stat sticks are bigger. All right, one more win and we win this thing. Not feeling any other improvements that could be made. Oh, Rooster, if you'd have showed up so much uh, earlier, you could have been a star. You could have been an absolute star. The Rooster is like really freaking... In fact, I, I'm, I'm tempted to swap the sauropod for it, but... Uh, it's a little too late now, because the sauropod's way too beefy. We'd be losing way too much stats um, for that. So no, no, we're not swapping out the sauropod. I don't want to buy the salad, because it could hit that. I will buy the melon. You know, at this point, we might as well. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, dang it. I didn't want to... I was thinking that was the pear, not the melon. I, I, I screwed that one up. But yeah, you know what? Let's just stat stick. All right, good. Didn't hit something that would have wasted the buff. This is what I wanted to freeze. That's a 50-50 worm. All right, good. Good damage there. They were going to town on that leopard, but not going to town enough. Sorry, Dewey of the Edible Eruptions. We won. Woohoo! Now that's what I'm talking about. So, if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, want to see any more runs of this, or maybe you want to see me stream this. This is a very streamable game, so I might do some streams of this if uh, there's enough interest. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya!